Give it up for Vet Track. Okay. Uh, let's see, when I told Alina my story yesterday, I didn't think I'd be standing up in front of you, but uh, here I am uh, on the topic of the VA system. And I just want to share my experience uh, and my family's. Uh, we faced a system that was hard to navigate. Uh, and when it didn't work, it became hopeless. Uh, as my father advanced through the late stages of Alzheimer's, uh, my mother uh, was faced with a really difficult decision. Um, we had worked with all the VA, the lawyers, the local advocacy groups. But when the time came and we convinced her it was time for my dad to go into uh, the nursing home, uh, she uh, was basically rejected by the local VA. So steps one through 69, we thought were fine. All of a sudden we were rejected and the burden was on her. She was in crisis, we were in crisis, she was depressed to reconstruct what happened, go out, get resources to try to put this back together. Uh, as it turns out, we got a call from the state VA three months later saying, where's Dave? Uh, and we said we had, you know, we struggled, we weren't able to get anywhere. Uh, we went and did private pay. Uh, and so that was the story I shared. These brilliant minds came together with a solution. Uh, and I kind of wish my mom had it at the time. I'm going up there this weekend, so maybe I'll tell her. Hope is on the way. <laughs> Thanks. Um, just want to, on behalf of the team, uh, I joined late, so my apologies. But let me just go ahead and say, unfortunately, uh, Steve's family had to go through the broken side. So I'm going to show you what we think might be the fixed side with VetTrack uh, navigating the broken system by our nation's veterans. And one of the problems when we I talked to the team yesterday was that waiting for members of Congress to participate meant waiting until there was a problem. So we thought about that a little bit, and we realized that Congress has a real place as ombudsman to fix things, but it's always a little bit too little, a little bit too late for uh, many of our veterans, and in some cases, they didn't even realize it was a resource. So what we do is we are gonna help Congress and uh, to be a part of the pro problem and solution as well. So the portal, the VetTrack portal, um, is something where veteran groups are gonna be able to publicize a free service where vets can go online at the beginning of the process rather than when things start to go awry. And it's designed to be easy to use and address the issues that they care about and walk them through it. However, there are roadblocks, legal liability, bureaucratic regulations, privacy concerns, so in order to build the system, we looked at who the main players are. Obviously, the veteran and their families and caregivers. Then they deal with the VA, hurrah. Then they almost always end up having to go back to the branch that they serve to get information. And then uh, in the case where there's a problem, they can go to the caseworkers who work in Congress. So, in order to develop the system, we use the BLT methodology, and that is where we mapped out the business process, the legal requirements, and then the technical implementation last. It was something where we wanted to put the veteran at the beginning of that process, make sure that we dealt with the liability, Section 58, and all of those regs, and then finally come up with an implementation straightforward that allows logging of all transactions of what the veteran goes through. So on day one, the veteran logs in, they interact with the government websites, VetTrack automates the data entry and submission of forms, dials numbers and logs those calls. It follows it like VetTrack. And one last thing, there's a uh, ability for caregivers to participate. And then at the last thing, there's the last straw alert. If the VA doesn't get to it, it tells them how to send the messages through to Congress and interacts directly with the caseworker system. Thank you. And Thank I'll you. Give it up.
Um, one part of the uh, web of services that are available for um, for returning service members and for vets is also the um, organizations within the community. So I was thinking, you know, of like some of the military family associations, uh, Got Your Six, and some of the others like that. Do you, where, do you see? There, yeah. Great. Use a mic. Use a mic. Microphone. Uh, I'd just like to add to this that we had two other members of our team that had to take off this morning. They had an emergency in New York, and those were the those were the people that had the rest of the work. But this is a, 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 a mapping, and it's open, and everybody can play with it. And hopefully, we'll get some solutions. Right. I think the veterans groups we would bring in to participate and offer this as a free service. The idea is that it would be hard for them to build some of this. No, I think that that's a, that's a great point. And the only other thing is, I think you guys also had some good points about um, making sure that there were good definitions for all the people involved, because that's one of the most difficult things is there, you know, knowing all of the different types of tests that veterans have to have. So uh, I, I'm, I'm not trying to drill you guys as much as the, I remember that the, you guys had some good what work we, on this. What we worked on uh, last night until like 4.30 in the morning, yeah, it was, we we're going to have some of that to try to incorporate since they're uh, re releasing their, pri you know, some of the privacy. And we also couldn't finish it, but we also have a, uh, a, a not, not track me anymore, you know, like you cannot track me anymore and then you can just opt out of it as well. That's the end of it. But the fact is that, you know, with these releases forms, you can also add in the medical information, whatever it is. Does that answer? Nick? So this is great. Um, should the VA be building this? And it, if They the could if they want to. And if the answer is yes, then can you talk a little bit about how you might openly contribute some of the process mapping or how you could contribute pieces of this uh, to a future VA solution? Sure. Um, first, let me say the caseworkers have a workflow system I'm familiar with and help develop some of. Um, INS actually has a case working tracking that I've looked at in the years past and that's pretty good and open. The problem is that the VA, which I'm not as familiar with, doesn't always have a great thing. And the question is, if it's internal, that's great, and they should have a case working. But just to let you know that when there's a problem, what happens is you bring in the, your member of Congress. And so the member of Congress then begins a conversation with the uh, agency. And that process is sometimes opaque to the extent. And so this opens up that process and also uh, makes the transmission of the information to that caseworker automatic rather than have the member of Congress try and get it out of the VA system. 